Let's see, when I first got into music, I was about nine years old. I started playing guitar. I was inspired by Guitar Hero, strangely, to pick up the guitar and my family was always encouraging me to learn new songs that they grew up with and I just really liked 80s metal and 80s rock and stuff. A year later I joined middle school band playing saxophone. It never became a passion until, you know, after a few, few years of doing it. From high school to college was the biggest change by far. I went to a Skrillex concert and I had no idea how he did anything he did. You know, I didn't know he was DJing or if he was really performing it or whatever, but I was blown away. You know, there were songs I would get chills and, you know, I'd, I want to do that to people. I want to make people shiver, you know, just from stuff they hear, you know. Um, but I think that was kind of the defining moment when I went to the first real big EDM concert and I was just... You know, I started producing, you know, I started doing the EDM thing in college and, and that's kind of what, what really kicked everything off. You know, it started with just downloading this program and from there I started teaching myself percussion and piano because theory kind of went hand in hand with both of those. You know, after teaching myself for a few months I finally got accepted into the sound recording program. You know, I came into college being wanting to be a teacher and a band director and, you know, within four months of me producing that completely changed and, you know, I finally saw the opportunity to inspire people and influence people the way I have the ability to rather than doing that through teaching. I think I could reach a bigger audience and have a bigger influence through my music and ideas um, through electronic production and music production in general. I kind of started out as a blues guitar player. I was really into Stevie Ray Vaughan, he's one of my heroes. The heavier side of EDM, I kind of used my metal influences and I'll listen to metal bands and stuff. Um, but for the most part, it was blues and rock that influenced most of my EDM. Three views to thousands. Um, it happened pretty quick, it just kind of went you know, to my parents realized I was good at it, and then I started telling some of my friends about it, and then automatically right there you've got a little bit of hype. I won a remix contest for Pitbull, and then I went to Miami, and I knew there was going to be a whole bunch of opportunities for me to network, so I started a Twitter and an Instagram and a Facebook page, you know, and those have all been kind of going at the same time. Watching it grow is, it's fun, but it, you know, I, I think my real success is I've just become a better producer, you know, and watching that, that's what I've been watching online. You can go through my SoundCloud and listen to my first song and my very last song, and you'll hear a complete difference. I, I always try to remind myself that I'm here for the music, and that I'm doing this for the music to you reach out to people through music, not through, you know, the internet. Now let's talk about Atlanta, man. Atlanta. All up in my face, yeah, them hoes know that I'm clean, clean From the city where you got a dope coat And the first time was kind of last minute They called me two weeks before and they're like, yo, we've got this thing called Kingdom Rave I've seen you've been blown up in Texas You should come out, it'll be awesome And I was like, sweet, hell yeah, I'll come play I drove all the way to Atlanta by myself it was like raining the whole way And by the time I got to Atlanta, I'd been up for like 34 hours or something and um, the room I was supposed to be playing in, it was dead. There was no one in there. Literally, there was like six people in there, I think. And so I got there and I just started handing out my business card. Like, yo, I'm about to play in 20 minutes. Come, come see me, come see me. And, you know, I started playing and people started coming in. By the end of my set, there was like 500 people in there. It was good, that's kind of where I got my foot in the door with Atlanta and it was way better the second time. Like there was like 5,000 people at this place and it was packed, 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 packed. Standing in front of that many people, it was not as nerve wracking as I thought. I was just ready for it. Like I knew that I was supposed to be there that night and that I was supposed to play there. There was a few times where it got pretty surreal and Everyone was jumping and I kind of stopped and looked at them all and that was just like man I don't know any of these people, you know, I don't know any of them and they're all like getting all crazy and stuff It was cool man, and you know I got off took off all my equipment and walking down and people were like yo man good set Awesome, that was dope, you know, what's your name blah 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 and start handing out my business cards again and 
um, you know, that goes back to that influence thing, you know, I was finally getting my, my influence and some roots in Atlanta, um, in planting those seeds, to, you know, and just, just grow, <laughs> just keep growing, man. It was life changing, for sure, man. It was definitely life changing, got to do something by myself, from something I taught myself, you know, I'm making money and paying rent with my, with something I taught myself now, it's pretty cool. Music is one of my priorities. It's um, it's something I'm always thinking about. The thing that connects you with the universe and that defines me is music. I think I've just found a different way to just connect with nature and just find, I guess, kind of like a zen purpose. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. This is my dream and this is something I dreamt of when I was eight years old. When people talk to me about how they like my stuff and how they're influenced by what I'm doing, um, it's, you know, it's just fuel to the fire, man. You know, I want to do that for more people and I want to get more messages like that. I've come a long way just because I've learned so much more musically and also I joined the sound recording program which completely changed the way I even experienced my reality. You know, I'm forever grateful for it. Yeah, at Texas State and all the things they've done for me. EDM to me, it's a culture. You know, it's just a way to live your life. You know, you. You listen to great music and you love the way it sounds. I mean, it's all good vibes, good vibes, you know. It was strange to me at first. I didn't really understand it, but you know, I realized that half of these people in this crowd were all like outcasts, you know, at one point in their life. But sometimes that the way I had felt, you know, and it was just kind of like a time where everyone can come together. You don't know your social status at a rave, you know. Everyone's there for the music you'll find a lot of love and a lot of good vibes.